Hey guys, my name is Melody and today I'm going to be telling you guys about the Fowler dorm at Texas A&M and I am first going to show you what it looks like empty, like without furniture and stuff moved into it yet and then I'll show you what my room looked like after I decorated it and then I'm going to give you guys a review on what I think about it after having lived in it for a year. So let's get into, first off, me showing you on my move-in day what the room looked like to empty. So this is the door that you first walk in from outside and when you come in this is the layout. So there's windows here with blinds that you can lift and then there's going to be two beds, two desks and shelves. It is pretty tight and you're not able to lift your bed really higher, there's no extensions for you. But there honestly is a lot of space underneath. So lofting your bed is kind of hard, like you can't really fit your desk under. You could put your desk under, but then you would have no desk space. So yeah, you can't really do that in these dorm rooms. But there honestly is a lot of space. It seems like there's not, but there is, like for storing stuff. I went and bought some extra storage, but I didn't need to. But anyways, here we go. Yeah, this bed and then this bed. And there's a lot of space above these cabinets. These are built in, you can't move them. You can move the beds around though. They will move and the desk you can move if you want to. And then we have the sink over here. A lot of space under there as well for a trash can or whatever. And then have a bunch of shelves, outlets by the sink. Oh, there's also outlets above both desks. As you can see here, and then after the sink, there's the bathroom door, and then there's the closets. And they look small, but it's actually a lot of space as well. I fit a ton of clothes. I'll show y'all really quickly my room once it's done, so you can kind of see what it looks like once it's been moved into. Okay, and then going through this door right here, there is the bathroom, a shower, there is a shower curtain, a little shelf, the light, towel rods, toilet, the trash can did not come with, we brought that, and then toilet paper. Okay, so this is what a Fowler room looks like with stuff moved into it. So here's the sink, like I said, there's the shelves and stuff, and we could put stuff under here, like we put our mini fridge under, it's about three feet. It can't go all the way back because there is all the plumbing and stuff back there, but it was fine. And then there's the closets, like I said, there's tons of space. Like I have all these clothes and still plenty of room to fit more. And there's tons of rooms in these things. These are super deep and go really far back. I have tons of space back there that I'm not even using. And then this one is really deep. And then there's also this big storage unit. I'm not even using it. Plenty of space right here. And tons of space under the bed as well. Like I'm not using that whole back corner. But yeah, and the desks are nice. I'll show you guys. Here we go. The desks have an extra space and then drawers and this thing and yeah plenty of space up here nice shelves yeah so there's a lot of space up on top as well but yeah basically that is what a Fowler dorm looks like I hope you guys really got some good feedback out of this and that you'll be able to kind of see what Fowler's like more when you're moving in. So overall I think the room has a nice layout. It's really nice with all the shelves and stuff that's really convenient but the floors are disgusting and that's really one of the worst parts of the dorm in my opinion. There's like holes and marks on the floor and then in my room there's like hairs like laminated into the floor i don't think laminated is the right word but they were like stuck and like glued basically to the floor 
and I thought that was disgusting. And they're like really old floors as well. They're not nice new hardwood like most storms at Texas A&M are. And so that was just so gross to me and I hated the floor so much. Another thing about Fowler is that there are not many outlets in the dorm. There are two outlets by the sink and then two outlets over each desk. It was tricky trying to find a place to plug in our refrigerator because fridges are supposed to be plugged in directly to the wall but it wouldn't reach to either of the places above our desk without an extension cord. So we ended up plugging it in by our sink and we just put the fridge under the sink which actually worked out really well. But that was a bit tricky in finding enough outlets and then I really wish there was outlets in the bathroom but there are not outlets in the bathroom. That is a big bummer. And then the next thing is that there are outdoor hallways. That's why it's called a balcony dorm is because the hallways are balconies. You don't actually like get a balcony for your room. It kind of seems like that maybe but it's just that the hallway is the balcony. So I was honestly pretty bummed about that because I didn't get like a hallway where I could just walk out and meet new people on my floor because it wasn't the type of environment you can just go and hang out. Like a lot of my other friends, they would hang out with other people in their dorm just like by hanging out in the hallway, but because FHK lacks that, there wasn't that opportunity to make the same friends within my dorm. I went to a lot of other people's dorms and they all had great friends in their hall, but I really didn't make friends with that many people inside my dorm due to that. And then I did just mention FHK, what is that? Um, FHK is the whole dorm complex. It's Fowler, Hughes, and Keithley, so all three of those dorms are in one building type of thing. And so if you enter through Hughes, you can still get to Fowler. And your key card works for like all three of the dorms because they're just all connected. And then to access the kitchen and laundry room, you also have to go outside, which was frustrating because you can't just stay in your one little hallway and go to the dorm kitchen. You had to go all the way downstairs and outside, um, which was frustrating and I wished I could have just stayed inside. But one nice thing is that the laundry rooms are really big. There's eight washers and eight dryers. So if you have enough empty washers and dryers at the time, you can do a lot of your laundry at the same time, which I really enjoyed and I liked that. So another thing about FHK is that in Fowler and Keithley, the first two floors are double rooms. So you have a roommate. And then on the third and fourth floor, they're just single rooms. So it's just you, sharing a bathroom with your one suite mate instead of two people sharing a bathroom with two suite mates. And then all of Hughes is single rooms. I think that the location of the dorm itself is a pretty good location. It is annoying to have to walk to the dining hall, but it's the same way with all of the dorms on north side. And then it is one of the closest dorms to west campus though. There is a bridge pretty nearby where you can walk or bike or whatever to West Campus. I think that was the main reason my roommate wanted to be on Northside was so that we could be close to West Campus because that's where a lot of her classes were. So that was one nice thing about the location. But then like I said, we would still have to walk to the dining hall. A dorm I would definitely recommend if you have the opportunity to go is any of the common storms except for maybe Dunn. Ashton, Mosher, and Kruger are all really nice dorms within the commons. They've all been remodeled semi-recently, all have really nice new floors, and it's really clean and new and kept up well, which I liked. I went to my friend's dorms in Mosher all the time. For some reason, when I was choosing dorms, I heard that the commons had like a bad rep, and I don't know why, because they're genuinely so convenient. There's an Aggie Express, which is like a little miniature grocery store. That is a little overpriced, honestly, but that's like within the same building. The dining hall is within the same building. And it's a nice dining hall. It's a great dining hall. It serves the same quality food as Sabisa, the dining hall on the north side. And then there's also like a game room and then there's also like a study area, which is so nice. And I really wish that I had chosen to live in the commons uh, in either Kruger, or Ashton, or Mosher. Dunn is okay. Um, Dunn is the one dorm that I believe has not been remodeled, but it would still be better, I feel like, than my dorm. Um, just the convenience of it would be really nice. FHK is right next to the basketball court though, which I really liked. That's something I really wanted, but then I probably ended up using the basketball court maybe 10 times max. I wish I'd used it more because it literally was so convenient, so nice being right there, but I just didn't use it that much. But maybe if that's something you would value, you would use it a lot too. So that is my review on the dorm. 
Um, would I ever live there again? No, absolutely not. I really disliked it, but maybe it's a good place for you. It is a good option if you want something cheaper. I would have been willing to pay more for a better quality dorm, like I said. That's kind of my review on Fowler. I hope you benefited from this video. I hope that you learned more about Fowler. But yeah, thanks for watching, you guys. If this was helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. I want to post a lot of AM stuff as I do go to AM. Um, yeah, I'm